Pulmonary fibrosis is a chronic and progressive lung disease characterized by the thickening and scarring of lung tissue, which significantly affects lung function. This condition primarily involves the interstitium, the delicate lace-like network of tissue that supports the alveoli or air sacs. In healthy lungs, the interstitium is thin and allows for efficient gas exchange between the alveoli and the bloodstream. However, in pulmonary fibrosis, the interstitium becomes thickened and stiff due to excessive fibrous tissue formation, a process known as fibrosis, which is the topic of today's video, so keep watching for a brief overview of this topic. The onset of pulmonary fibrosis can be insidious, with symptoms often developing gradually. Early signs include shortness of breath, particularly during physical exertion, and a persistent dry cough. As the disease progresses, these symptoms become more pronounced and can severely impact a person's quality of life. The shortness of breath may become constant, and patients often experience fatigue, weakness, and chest discomfort. In advanced stages, even simple daily activities like walking or climbing stairs can become challenging. The underlying cause of pulmonary fibrosis is not always identifiable, which is referred to as idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. However, known risk factors include long-term exposure to environmental pollutants, such as silica dust, asbestos fibers, and certain agricultural or industrial chemicals. Other potential causes include radiation therapy, certain medications, and autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and systemic sclerosis. Genetic predisposition also plays a role in some cases, with familial pulmonary fibrosis being recognized as a distinct subtype. The pathophysiology of pulmonary fibrosis involves a complex interplay of inflammatory and fibrotic processes. Chronic injury to the alveoli triggers an abnormal wound healing response, leading to the activation of fibroblasts and myofibroblasts, which are cells responsible for producing collagen and other extracellular matrix components. This results in the deposition of excessive fibrous tissue which disrupts the normal lung architecture and impairs gas exchange. The stiffening of the lung tissue reduces lung compliance, making it harder for the lungs to expand during inhalation, thus leading to reduced lung volumes and increased work of breathing. As the disease advances, hypoxemia or low blood oxygen levels becomes a common complication due to the impaired gas exchange. This can lead to further complications including pulmonary hypertension and right-sided heart failure known as core pulmonale. These conditions exacerbate the patient's symptoms and can significantly shorten life expectancy. Currently, there is no cure for pulmonary fibrosis, and treatment focuses on managing symptoms and slowing disease progression. Therapeutic options include antifibrotic medications, oxygen therapy, pulmonary rehabilitation, and, in severe cases, lung transplantation. Early diagnosis and intervention are crucial for improving outcomes, although the prognosis remains variable, with some patients experiencing relatively stable disease while others face rapid deterioration. But, as previously mentioned, pulmonary fibrosis profoundly affects the lungs by causing irreversible scarring and stiffening of lung tissue, leading to impaired gas exchange decreased lung function, and significant respiratory distress. The disease's impact on daily life and overall health underscores the importance of ongoing research and improved therapeutic strategies to better manage this challenging condition. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.